Hi. I wanted to do the Benedict Arnold DLC. Well, I guess it's not DLC. Uh, bonus pack? I guess maybe they'll release it as DLC. Who knows? But uh, you pick it up here in New York, and already there's a glitch. And I was like, ooh, Benedict Arnold looks interesting. Turns out it's George Washington. Hi, George. Uh, he wants you to go and investigate here in West Point, which is a new area, which is pretty cool. And it is already unlocked, just like the homestead. And I was bitching because you can't call your horse, and I didn't notice until right at the end that there is a horse right by the entrance. But there we are. Anyway, the first mission you pick up just as you walk through the door, it's kind of unclear. You stand there. And then you can push B, or, you know, the interact button to start it. And you've got to find and kill a spy without being noticed. And it's I quite like these. There's three, maybe four missions. The first one is stealthy killing. Um, and we'll see here. Although not that stealthy. I just kind of sneak up behind the gang and stab that guy in the back. Then run away. Then you've got to kill two spies. So one of them is over here. And I always like to take the trees to scope an area out. And the trees here are actually really cool. There's some nice canopy that you can run around in. It took me a while to spot the guy, but he's there in the tent, and I couldn't work out a good way to get him out. So I ended up killing this guard, which caused everyone to come out, but he was also patrolling, which would have made it tricky to get into the tent. So I turned around a little bit and waited for them to kind of clear off, and then drop down, here we go, about to get there, drop down on the other side of the tent after they've kind of gone back to their business. And just as I get there, these three guards finally notice the body and come over and have a bit of a faff, but then just run in and do this guy in the back, and then bug out. And then there's one guy left, and this one's a bit more fun. Um, they're kind of out in the open, the trees are all around, there he is with the red dot on his head, he's got a guard dog near him, but I didn't have to get him, he comes in here, I don't know, to have a pee or something, or kick in the bushes. And it's a perfect opportunity for a predator rope move. Yay, hang him up. Um, the way to hang them is you target, there he is hanging, you target him with... Uh, Highlight him, then push shoot while you've got rope dart selected, then push forward and you'll drop off a branch and hang them. But anyway, uh, that was the, nearly the end of the mission. You go to the fort to look for the final spy, he knocks you over and then you just got to take him down. And I went to kill him, but it just sort of bounced him off the wall. Anyway, I reported in to Benedict Arnold, who turns out to be kind of a dick. Um, and I really wanted to kill him. Uh, then while I was waiting for the next guy, or the next mission, this guy came up and told me about a bunch of West Point missions, which look kind of fun. I might get around to them at some point. I'll possibly uh, upload a video on how to do some of them. Uh, the riot one and the double assassination with a musket could be fun. But anyway, uh, I killed him because he was bugged, so I thought I was doing him a favour. But then the whole fort piled on. <laughs> There's quite a lot of them. It's actually a great place to have a fight. i do it again at the end and I'll leave that in for you to watch, um, just because the ending of this is somewhat unsatisfactory and I sort of got angry and just decided to kill everyone again. But I would recommend not doing this on the way to the next mission, and you'll see why in a second. But I think I did quite well here, I only took like one hit in the end. Um, so it was quite a nice combat, although there's no really tough guys, I think there was only one brute in there. And I'm using the Sawtooth Cutlass, um, but it always kind of glitches, like this kill at the end here, it's clearly nowhere near his face, but eh, whatever. Anyway, ran over here to pick the mission up, and it just involves uh, carting some stuff around. So I picked it up and then immediately desynchronized because I was detected, even though it's not a stealth mission. But So don't kill the fort, is the advice there. Anyway, carry these over, and then I tap jump by accident and chuck the box away, and so it failed again. But you just basically have to carry this barrel over here, it's kind of dull. When you get there, a traitor is being stoned, and he runs off, and rather than chase him, it's left to you to chase him down. So it's another tackle mission, but fortunately there are no crowds to dodge. Anyway, take him down, bloom, um, and then you walk him over here, and there's a bit of a weird cutscene with this captain dude on the boat that I'll let you hear. Odd, right? I mean, just a bit dark. Uh, anyway, the game then crashed. Yay for crashes! So I restarted and came back to pick up the next, uh, the third part of the mission. So we had like a, a stealthy kill and then a carrying tackling mission. Now a uh, douche boy <laughs> says, oh, you've got to carry these here. And I was like, really just carrying three kegs? But fortunately you drop the first one and you get an eavesdrop mission. And I'm not a big fan of eavesdrop missions, but this one's actually really nicely done. The level designers have done a great job. There's lots of easy places to hide. It's kind of fun. You get up really close to them. Um, they split up. 
you get to take to the trees because the the way they've laid the trees out are really really smart um it's it's nice i actually thoroughly enjoyed this um that was a lot of fun anyway this guy they split up and you've got to follow this guy and i have a bit of a fail um up by this house he meets up with two friends here and tells them to make sure no one's following so but you run down here and there's some bushes to hide in which is kind of fun then they split up again and these two guys head this way so i ran into the cornfield and it's not clear if corn actually hides you but they never spotted me and then he's in the hay back hay the hell there and i was like oh and then he jumped out so i got a bit freaked out and ran away um anyway he heads towards this house now he's left his friends so i kind of stood up here he faffs around a lot he goes poking in the bushes and stands against a tree when this um co the convoy what am i saying uh patrol goes past so you've got to wait a little bit there and then he goes over to this house and i was going to go onto the top of this house because there's a platform there and i was thinking oh but then i fell off so it all got a bit messy and i had to shimmy around and back eject onto this branch um at which point he makes it to this guard post where some guards are holding it and the graphics here are amazing i you know, youtube will probably ruin them but i was sitting there with my jaw a little bit agape it was nice um okay that was that mission complete that was what number three so that was an eavesdrop and now uh you go and confront douchebag with the evidence and he freaks out and runs away and there's a big old invasion force coming in and so it's a really nice way to round the missions off this is the last one this is just a bunch of aggressive all-out combat it's fun with the occasional mad dash involved so you get a platoon coming in of like eight or ten guys i don't actually count and then when you've taken them out, a sniper will run in for the powder keg and you've got to assassinate him before he gets there. And you've just got to defend all the gates. It's, it's kind of fun. I didn't do great with the combat. It's all a bit messy. I got hit a bunch of times and shot in the face a few times, but it worked out okay. I didn't drop below half health, I don't think. So, you know, small mercies. <laughs> Some of the animations on this sword are kind of ridiculously fun. There's another sniper. Kill him. They, uh, you can just do running assassinations on them. It's pretty straightforward. And what I also like about these platoons is they don't pull apart and shoot at you, so there's no worrying about taking human shields, which is good. There we go, last guy down. See, again, the sword doesn't go through the face, but there we are. Another sniper running assassination. Uh, over here for one guy, and then another sniper's coming through, I think, so took him down. And then clear this platoon, clear platoon out. You see Patriots remaining. There's loads left, but I finish off this set, and it just cuts to the end. Um, and here we go, die. Uh, then you now get a cutscene, and I'll leave that to play right at the end, but you don't get any rewards, except an animus database entry for Benedict Arnold, which is somewhat disappointing. Maybe I should have read it, there might have been something in there, but anyway, I went over uh, there to shoot a powder keg and set off a huge fight, and again, I'll leave that playing at the end. In the meantime, uh, enjoy the cutscene with George Washington. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments. I've also started a forum. Check the description for the link if you would like to uh, post there. It'd be great to see you. All right, let's bye. If you did not catch him, nobody could have. West Point is secure. Major Andre will hang for his crimes. And Arnold? We'll try to find him. So I have my doubts. Whom can we trust now? The Patriot heroes are betraying us. You reap what you sow.